Whoa, dudes. No, off. Check out this post-hurricane weather. That's insane. All of a sudden, it's so sunny. Good morning, everyone. So it is currently Friday at like 8.48. I slept in a little bit today because today's my day off. So I slept till like 7.30. I just, as you can see, got in the shower. I have a ton of stuff to do today because I save everything for like one day because I procrastinate like that. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just vlog a little bit. I'm really excited because I'm hoping today I'm gonna do some fall decorating. Last night I kind of pulled out some stuff just to see what I had from last year. Don't like any of it, so we gotta start over fresh. Um, but the first order of business at 11 a.m. I'm going to get a facial because I need it. This is what eating like normal does for my skin after I've been on keto. This is one week of eating like an asshole, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get a facial and we're gonna do some shopping today. I have some videos to film. I'm really excited to light all my fall candles. Yesterday I was really in the mood for it because we had the hurricane, so it was like really crappy weather. But now of course it's like sunny and like breezy and beautiful out, but I'm still lighting my fall candles. I don't care if it's like 95 degrees, we need fall. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably run to TJ Maxx, Home Goods, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So my project for this morning before I leave the house is actually to get some more Save the Dates written. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little wedding update um, and I figured that while I'm writing some Save the Dates, I could do that. Um, I had, we already sent them out, but I actually had a few get kicked back for whatever reason. Um, so I'm going to just update some addresses and then get those few that didn't make it out on the first round back out because it's September and they should have been out a while ago. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just kind of show you guys our new save the dates. I really like them. They're different than what we had before. So these were actually our first save the dates. Um, for round one, we were supposed to get married <laughs> last weekend, would have been our wedding date, but that's okay. Um, and then we just had a family picture on the back. These are really, really simple. Um, I designed them and then had a family friend print them for us. And then these are our new ones. I think they're pretty cute. We got these amazing photos. You've probably seen them all over my Instagram. Um, and then we were able to include a picture with both dogs this time because in our first one, we did not have Marshall yet. So that part's really cute and kind of nice. Um, I think I like the first ones a little bit better. I mean, I designed them both. I just like the first ones a little bit better because they came in like the gold envelope. I just like the colors a little bit more. I don't know, those like all of the warm tones, um, which are similar. They're not our colors, but similar to our colors. Um, and then these are the new envelopes, just kind of like the craft brown. I don't want to show you guys our address, but it has... Um, like the future Mr. and Mrs. Shoveler on the back, which I thought was a really cute touch. So yeah, I just have to write like three or four of them because they keep getting sent back. And then of course I have a bunch of extras, just in case. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit, I'm dying. All right, facial is complete, I think. It looks really good. I got an LED facial because I have some situations, um, but it was so relaxing. I needed that so bad. And I actually signed up for like a little bit of a membership thing, so I get discounted rates and I go like once a month. Um, but yeah, it was super, super nice. It was like 50 minutes, I think. Um, and it was actually like a reasonable price for it and everything. This was my first time coming to this place, but. I feel so much better already, except for these like scarring situations here, but I'm gonna get um, my next time, I'm gonna get microdermabrasion, I think. I just needed like the LED detox facial to get rid of like all my breakouts and stuff. Um, but yeah, so now I'm gonna try and go back and drop those clothes off and then let's go shopping. I really, really want to go to TJ Maxx and I want to go to Target. Oh my god, look. That's so freaking cute. I got a 
full cart. So I didn't vlog that much while I was out and about running errands just because it was so crowded at the store today. Like, can you go? I think because the hurricane yesterday, like everybody was finally out for a little bit. So um, it was wild, like super crowded. What are you doing? Um, so anyways, I thought I would show you everything that I got. I got a ton of stuff. Oh my God. Girl, you got back up. <laughs> You're really excited, I know. I got so much stuff. Um, so I went to TJ Maxx and I went to Hobby Lobby. I was gonna go to Home Goods because it's right next to Hobby Lobby, but I did TJ Maxx first and then Hobby Lobby and just decided that I didn't even need to go because I got enough stuff as is. So I'll start with Hobby Lobby. I got this little baggie of like velvet pumpkins. I don't know if you can see, it's like gray and white velvet pumpkins and some pine cones. These were $7.99. Oh my God, you guys, back up, back up. These were $7.99 and all of their fall decor was 40% off. So, and their greenery was 40% off too. So I got this like garland and I'll show you guys how I decorate with all this stuff. I have it in my mind what I wanna do. So like, it's gonna look a little weird while I'm showing you, but I got this garland. Um, I think, I don't even know what this is. It's six feet. It was $19.99 and 40% off too. So a really, really good deal there. And then I just got even more greenery. Excuse me. Even more greenery, just another one of those, but a different like leaf type, I guess. Um, and that was $19.99 too, 40% off. And then um, I got, I have a few like tall vases, I guess you could call them. So I just wanted to get some like, not florals, but like, I don't know, just something to kind of fill them. So I really like grasses and as you'll see, I try to keep everything pretty neutral because our house is very neutral. I don't have a ton of color. I don't really love super colorful decor. I don't know, I'm just like neutral boring. So everything in our house is like white, neutral, tan, taupe, black, brown, like a lot of wood. It's a little bit rustic, kind of boho. Um, so I thought these grasses were kind of cute. And then even though I just told you I don't really like color, these I thought were so freaking cute. They're like little yellow, puffs I don't know I think they're really really cute I love this like mustardy color and like brick reddish orange which is kind of the colors we have incorporated in our house a little tiny tiny bit already so I tried to stick with those I didn't pick like bright oranges and stuff like that I picked like kind of more muted colors so this is gonna be like my one pop of color and then um, I love burning can oh shoot this is bent I love burning candles, so I got, oh, and these were, I think this was $6.99 and 40% off. Um, I love burning candles, so I like to burn, it's, I mean, it's a potted candle that you would just buy anywhere, but I thought this was cute to dress it up a little bit because I'm gonna do some stuff with like stacking. Um, and so this guy was $14.99 and because it was included in the fall decor, it was also 40% off. So I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, moving on to home goods, I got, I got a lot of pumpkins. So the first one I got is this Ray Dunn pumpkin and it just says blessed. It's really, really cute. I'm not super obsessed with Ray Dunn like everybody else is. I just thought this was really cute. I do have a few Ray Dunn things, but people go literally berserk over it. Um, but I just saw this kind of hanging out in the corner. I thought it was cute. Um, and this was $12.99 and it's, um, like porcelain, I guess. Um, so it's nice, neutral, and I don't know. I thought it was cute. Then I just got a little box of, these are like felt pumpkins. These are by Candy Corn Lane. I saw a lot of the Candy Corn Lane stuff. And this is actually a, another garland that I have some plans for. Um, and this guy was $12.99. So you get 12 pumpkins for 13 bucks. Pretty good deal. They're cute. They're like a felty white color. 
And then I also got this pumpkin. I thought this was so, so pretty. It's kind of like that um, mercury glass. Like it looks like it's shattered. And then it has like the natural wood like top here. I just think it's so cute and it actually lights up. If you put um, batteries in the bottom, it will light up. Um, so I have an idea for this as well. Um, and this guy was $14.99. They had a ton of different styles, different colors of these, different sh like sizes and shapes like tall ones short ones um so yeah i thought this was really cute i saw these all over the place um so that will be really really pretty and kind of goes with our house vibe already then i got two of these pumpkins like i said we have a lot of natural tones and wood so this again goes perfectly with our house vibe this was 7.99 and i got two of these guys Ma'am, you got back up, sis. You got back up. And then I think these are the last two pumpkins that I got, but I got two of these like wood things. They're so freaking cute. And these were $9.99. Um, so they're just like wooden carved pumpkins, but they have like the distressed white paint. They look really rustic. They have this really pretty floral design going on. I love these. I think they're so pretty. Again, go perfectly with our house. I wanted to buy fall decor, but also kind of keep it within our house style. I didn't want to buy a bunch of stuff that kind of just looked like out of place, you know? I don't know. I just wanted it to be like cohesive and everything go together. Um, and then I did end up getting this blanket. This actually isn't gonna go in our living room. I have other plans for this. Um, this is gonna go in a spare bedroom, but I love it. It's so freaking soft. And these are also West Point colors. So I thought it was really cute to have. Um, and this guy was $19.99. So pretty good deal for such a big comfy blanket. This would even be like a cute scarf. Um, but yeah, I just love throws. We have so many of them. I actually have like a ladder where we hang all of our throw rugs. So I thought this would be a cute little pop of color if I decide to leave it down here, but I think I'm gonna take it upstairs into one of the spare bedrooms. And then I bought literally so many of these fall candles. I'm gonna share, I've shared it on my channel before, but my secret weapon for the fall time is these DW home candles that you get at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls. Um, this was $6.99. They last better and burn longer than a Bath and Body Works candle, in my opinion. They're a fraction of the price and they smell phenomenal and they will fill like a whole big room. I got tons of other ones. Like this one smells, this is called Black Birch. It smells a little bit more masculine, but also smells like balsam fir kind of thing, like a Christmas tree, but with like a hint of cologne maybe. I don't know, I thought that was really good. Might be good to burn in Nick's office. So I got a ton of different flavors of those. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because that will take forever. And then I ended up getting this little thing, it's a spoon rest. It's not anything that exciting, but I just needed something to sit on top of our stove because I always lay the dirty stuff on the counter or on the stove and it makes a mess. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it because I think the rest of the stuff is all candles So yeah, I'm just gonna start cleaning all of this up and then I really want to decorate. I'm really excited I feel like a hero. I feel like Alrighty, so this is one of the setups I just did these are the grasses that I bought and this is the base I got a fall candle burning this and this are always here but i just added this little vase i think it looks super cute in the corner there and then this is the setup we have on like our little bistro table i need to fill this thing with napkins still but i have another candle burning here and then i have these little yellow pom-poms i think they look so cute in this white vase i love it then don't mind the mess but i moved this runner which was actually on our dining room table i'll show you what i did there next but i just threw out these things normally i had something else here but i thought this was kind of fall-ish and then these sunflowers are for my mom so i just have them sitting there for now they'll move once they're done um and it'll just be like this orangey runner and then the candles there not doing anything crazy with the living room because don't mind i cleaned this up but of course the dogs had to make a mess um but as you can see we normally have like that mustardy color and kind of this like bronzy orange color already incorporated so i'm not going to do anything crazy here i don't have any different pillows or anything this is kind of just gonna stay as is when you come in here let me turn on the light 
So I have this pumpkin here that I showed you earlier. I have another candle burning here. This is the candlestick that I showed you. So I think it's really cute when you first walk in. Don't mind all of this stuff. That's a separate project. I will show you that another day. Um, but this is the dining room table layout. I have these pumpkins out. These are the velvet ones, which are super, super cute. And then I also threw in some of these like little cotton buds. And I kind of just like made it a little bit messy, but still really pretty. So yeah, this is our tablescape. And I usually switch this out um, for fall and Christmas. I always like to do like a huge garland across the table for Christmas too. I don't know, I just like how it looks like super full and nice on the table. All of this stuff is new today, minus these cement um, candle holder, candlestick things. Um, these I got from Home Goods like forever ago, and as you can see, they're a little bit chipped up and worn, but I love them. I think they complement it really nice. I like kind of the hard concrete with like the softer grasses and stuff. So yeah, this is what we're working with. I wanted to keep it kind of green and neutral and cohesive with the rest of our house. And then of course we can't forget our wreath, which I got last year at TJ Maxx. It's falling apart a little bit, but I think it's still gonna hang in there for another season. And this obviously goes on our front door. So I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do decor wise. I don't know, I wanted to keep it kind of simple. I don't wanna like have to put a bunch of shit away at the end of the season. So far I'm really liking it. I might add like onesies or twosies. I love the way this looks in the back, it's so cute. Um, but if I see more things that I like, I might add. I didn't use a few of the things that I bought, which whatever. Like I didn't use that pumpkin garland. I thought I was going to, but it turned out I had enough for the dining room table already. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. As you can see, I look disgusting. I'm like sweating because I've been like rearranging and cleaning stuff up. Um, so I'm just gonna finish straightening up the house. I'm posting a few sneak peeks right now on my Instagram, so you guys have probably already seen this by the time this vlog goes up, but I don't know. I just thought it would be something fun. I know I'm early, but I wanted to get it up for you guys so you guys could see what I was doing, maybe give you some ideas. Um, so yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.